Starting tomorrow, thousands of people along the Sunshine State will need to make fast plans on how to lock down their boat. CBS Hills Israel Balderas is live with what boaters need to do in order to prepare Israel. Well, we are live along the St. Lucie River, some distance away from the coastline. Now, this waterway will play an important role for boaters as they try to get away from the approaching storm surge. So we've been through plenty of hurricanes, so, we, you know, you have to pay attention and you have to take care of your property, and that's what we do. Like many boaters docked tonight at Sunset Bay Marina in Stewart, Chris Ludwig and his buddy prepped their 65-foot Pacific Mariner for Hurricane Matthew. If it turns out to be like a hurricane level one, category one, we think we could secure lines and keep things stable right here. Many boaters we spoke with tonight said they're planning to head inland towards Lake Okeechobee, and such safety decision must be made in the next 12 to 24 hours, preferably before officials issue an evacuation decision. And that's why I'm thinking tomorrow I'll, I'll be watching it close, um, because I'll probably, if it looks like it's going to be close to the coast, I'm going to the Okeechobee. Michael Ledwell lives on board the Bonnie Blue, and tonight it's anchored on the St. Lucie River. As an experienced captain on board large ships and tugboats, Ledwell says any chance of a hurricane even brushing South Florida can't be taken lightly, and fellow boaters agree. So you can tie up all you want, but if you're dealing with 100, 120 mile an hour winds, you've got to get out of harm's way. And we're back out live, and as Jeff Berardelli just mentioned, Matthew will move along the coastline rather slowly into Friday. That means long-duration pounding of surf. That will lead to significant beach erosion and then also disruption to beach and boating activities into the weekend. Reporting live in Stewart, I'm Israel Valderas, CBS 12 News.